I was walking in the darkness, always trying to find my true self. Ooh, almost. Unwanted ego. <laughs> Unafraid of letting go. Because it's what? It's my time to shine. Devon Adder, Amy, we, we Melanie Renee. Hello. Oh my God, it is so good to see you. It's so good to and see you. And you're in my city, you're in London. <laughs> Recording new tracks out yes. here. Yes. Um, I'm, um, I've, I've taken a, a bit of uh, my time, I'd say, a whole year, uh, to try to find like the style and the music direction I wanted to take. And uh, I think I found it. So now I'm working. What is it? Um, it's it's a it's a mix of uh, different genres. So it's pop, electro, but with like a like a hint of rock edge to it. So, who whose music would it be similar to that's currently? Um. Oh, uh, like the new album of a uh, Imagine Dragons. But with still with that like rocky edge to it, so it's not like full on um, pop electro. It's not rock, but it's like a. Is it like Katy Perry at all? Because she's gone a bit electro as well, hasn't she? Oh, I thought she went down the like the reggae route. Maybe I just made that up. No, I don't know. <laughs> with with the oh, it's called. Mm. That's a song. That's a, like a little bit of like reggae yeah, vibe to it. Yeah, that's true. But she's, uh, I consider her like mainly pop. Oh, that's, that's not helping, but <laughs> you'll see. You'll have to. Uh, you'll have to. Uh, and when is it scheduled for release? Well, the single should be out uh, after the summer holidays. So. Oh. Yeah, like. September. Oh yes, we like <laughs> September. We like. Have you decided what the new single will be yet? Uh, no, not yet. Oh, yeah. So you're still kind of working through your choices and having it mixed and mastered. Yeah, oh, well, I, I want to finish all my songs and so I can like pick which one is likely to be the next single. And how do the studio sessions go in terms of you laying down? Are you pretty happy with what you've heard so far? Yeah, well basically I um, like I come up with a song, so the lyrics and like the, the singing melody. And then um, with the producer I'm working with, we uh, kind of try to find the arrangements that would... Uh, that would suit it the best. I must say, you're quite talented. You know, not quite. You are very talented. Because even Time <laughs> to Shine was your own personal composition. It was something that had been cooking in your works for quite some time. Yeah. And you, yeah, you were completely behind it, right? There was, there was no co-writer on it. No, no. Um, but like I said, like I've been saying for the, well, for the Eurovision, it was not made for Eurovision. So it was like something that I wrote in my room, in my bedroom. Um, when I felt like I needed a like a pick me up song kind of thing, um, and so it became time to shine. But I I like to experiment with music, so I'll I, I won't just have like a melody line and that's it. I'll try to figure out what kind of arrangement I'm picturing it, a uh, picture behind it, and uh, and I'll try to work it out on Logic. But obviously I'm not very good. This is not like my area of expertise, so. Um, I'll do like the the skeleton of the song and then I'll take it to a producer. No shade, no more pulling her down, no more <laughs> mucking around. We're going to talk about your Christmas album which you released in Switzerland. Yes. Um, that was a welcome surprise, like nobody expected that at all. In well, a maybe, good way? <laughs> well yeah, but like, yeah, it was a different direction as well, you know, having a Christmas yeah. album, I mean usually it's something that people do um, not every pop artist has a Christmas album and usually, and usually pop artists who do it's kind of like maybe the eighth or ninth album but you just dropped it what <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's a, it's a good thing but <laughs> well yeah you peaked early you dropped that Christmas album I'm not gonna wait for my tenth album to be my Christmas <laughs> album so yeah no. well, I um. It, it was going to be something like on the side anyway. Um, mm -hmm. It's obviously not in the style that I want to do my own like music. Um, but it had been 
like a couple of months after Eurovision, I hadn't released anything, I hadn't done anything, and uh, the the people that were following me and supporting me from the beginning were like, "Girl, what are you doing?" So I I figured I'll. Well, because, you know, Christmas is really important for me as well, I, I figured I'll combine the two, you know, Christmas music and, uh, yeah. Kill two turkeys with <laughs> one stone. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I didn't know that expression before, but, yeah, sure. Um, and uh, it's not something that I, I felt like I had to do, but it just, yeah, I, I wanted to. I wanted to, um, to have, like, my own spin on the Christmas song that I liked and sang with my family so this is the idea behind the, the, the Christmas so the Christmas single first and then uh, with my manager we thought oh well why not instead of two why not make it five and so why not? this is that was like the thinking behind like the Christmas EP but um, it, it's definitely not in the same style that I want to do my own music we also know uh, through your social media feed that you're a big Eurovision fan and interestingly Time Bell who represented Switzerland this year were in your pre-selection when you won um, <laughs> did you follow the show this year did you think Time Bell would win this year uh, well honestly I thought they had like a really good chance to win and what do you think of their song this year I well it's better than in 2015 I think oh really it's, well yeah I, okay. I think it's it's really it was a good song well obviously it did. yeah it was because it almost made it to the final so yeah. it was a good a good uh, song and uh, they had a better performance on stage for the national live and she's she's a really good singer so it was for me I well I knew that they had like good chances to win. What, so at be, the Grossi and Charming show? Yeah, or? at the national... Okay. Oh, no, I, I meant at the national Just final. In Switzerland, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, so for me, it was like between... I'm not going to say because people are going to watch the video. And be like, ah. No, but, but you prefer <laughs> Apollo to singing about love. Yes, oh, definitely. I think it was a, a much stronger song, Eurovision song. After your... Um, appearance at Eurovision, the um, Swiss broadcasting team decided to completely revise the format of Eurovision. Um, obviously, they haven't quite found the success yet because, again, Switzerland hasn't qualified since. What do you think is the missing ingredient? Um, what, what do you think? What do you, what ideas are running through your mind in terms of how that can be shaped? Uh, well, that's a tough one. <laughs> I think, um, well, I don't know, because I was going to say maybe promotion, but with, um, with Time Belt, I know that they've done a lot, like they've, they've done a lot yeah. of uh, Eurovision tours. Um, but this is not Time Belt specific, because um, I know you like Time Belt. It, it's just generally in terms of um, no, what can Switzerland, Switzerland do. To no, that's, to what, get, that's yeah. what I'm saying. It's like... Um, when I did it, we did, uh, I, I think we went to perform in four countries um, and uh, it was slightly more for Rika and I, well, I've got the impression through Facebook, well, I don't know because I haven't spoken to uh, Miruna, but um, I, I've got the impression that they've done more this year yeah, in terms of promotion, but I think it should be even more because um, if you take countries like, uh, I don't know, Sweden for example, it's um, like Eurovision is, is everywhere. Everybody's so like, you know, excited about it. And I feel like in Switzerland, there's still some sort of, uh, I don't know, I don't know if it's like shyness about it, but uh, it's, it's, it's not, not shining. As, <laughs> I wanted to put the word in, you know, but I feel like it's not as big as it should be compared to the countries that make really well in the, in the grand final. So I'm I'm thinking maybe there's like that promotion marketing side that needs to be stepped up. Yeah, maybe. But then again, I don't know because I don't know how it really works, you know. But what we do know is that your image is taking a reshaping, right? Yeah, I love it. And your style <laughs> and your new concept. Can you tell us a little bit more about what direction you're now taking visually? I wanted I wanted something that would match what I'm doing. So 
say that like the long dresses with glitter and all that it it doesn't really match that pop electro vibe that I wanna that I wanna do in my music. So I wanted something that would um, that would be more like I don't wanna say I don't wanna say like underground kind of look, but a bit more edgy. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So um, I'm still figuring out, you know, the, the wardrobe side of things and, and all of that. But um, yeah, everything is going to get revamped. I'm not going to say Are more. Are you going to revamp time to, time to Shine as well? Are you going to put it through a remix I'd like pipe? to. I'd like to. Um, I've had, uh, <laughs> I've had uh, a couple of um, friends that try to, like, edit it, but it's not... I haven't found the, the sound yet. And um, recently, in May, I did a showcase to uh, in Switzerland to um, to showcase like the, my new music and the new style that I was uh, going for. And uh, we we've done uh, the time to shine with a band. Oh, how did that go? In a more like rocky kind of version, and it sounds so amazing. It sounds so different from the Eurovision song. So uh, yeah. I'm thinking maybe we do it that way. And hopefully you'll let us know on weweblogs.com. Definitely. We've been speaking to Melanie Renee. Eurovision News with Attitude. (laughs) Now you're going to play us a song on the piano right here, you promise. Yes, yes. What are you going to do? Well, it's the only song (laughs) I know how to do on the piano. And that will be Someone Like You by Adele. She's lying, by the way. She has a whole book here of songs. Thank you so much, Melanie. Thank you so much.